thunderstorms that are possible today, Tommy. One coming in by later on this afternoon and then another one overnight. And in between the storms, it's going to be hazy, hot and humid. The same story as we've had the past several days. Right now, the heat index is getting pretty bad out there across parts of the state. It feels like 95 now in Carroll. Heat index here in Des Moines, not that bad, close to 89 degrees. And it feels like 93 in Creston. But if the skies clear out, then conditions will get really steamy. There's that heat advisory that continues until 7 o'clock. It continues from Waterloo down through Des Moines, Adele down through Creston and points to the southeast. And then after 7 o'clock, the rain will be moving through and that extreme heat and extreme humidity levels will be breaking. Now overnight, we got some welcome rainfall in here, although it was on the very light side. You can see it tracking off to the east during the overnight and the early morning. It did linger, so now we're still dealing with a few clouds from this, but some clearing is taking place off to the west before we get to the next complex of weather out across central Nebraska. And we'll be watching this area to expand here during the afternoon, and then it's going to be heading in here too. So let's time it out now with Futurecast. By 2 p.m., it could be a stray sprinkle, possibly near the Grinnell area, more rainfall close to Waterloo. Then about 4, 5 o'clock, we'll be watching for a band of thunderstorms to develop, mainly right along Highway 20 near Fort Dodge. And that band of storms will be heading off to the east, might miss the metro area, but then overnight, here comes another complex of rain moving in across southwest Iowa. And during the overnight after midnight, the best chances to see the rainfall will be along and south of I-80. And this rain will move through, continuing until possibly that morning commute tomorrow. Now, with any of the storms late this afternoon and even during the overnight, we do have a risk for severe weather all across central and western Iowa here. And this is for the potential for some wind, some hail, but mainly for some heavy rainfall to continue overnight too. Most locations will pick up about a half inch, but some locations could get a couple of inches or more. Right now, we're still dealing with the cloudiness out there, but that's that's okay. It's keeping our readings from getting out of control. Right now it's 84 in Des Moines. Feeling pretty comfortable, although humid at 71 for the dew point. The feels like condition right now is at 89 and we do have a little bit of a breeze. Here's your eight day forecast. So once the storms roll through this afternoon and overnight, it's really going to break the heat, break the humidity. Tomorrow's going to be a whole lot more comfortable. Almost 10 degrees colder on your Thursday with highs in the low 80s. That morning rain moves out of here. Friday looks wonderful. Low humidity. Highs only in the low 80s. That's where it should be. And then for the weekend, the heat creeps right back in here. Highs will be either side of 90 for Saturday and Sunday. Next week, wow, the furnace is going to be cranking back on with the heat wave moving in with highs in the mid to upper 90s. So we're going to hope that our AC works to counteract Mother's Nature's fur, uh, furnace there. 